hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is erica number at this point i know i have to reintroduce myself because i've been away <laughs> for almost four months and guess what nobody checked up on me yeah i'm angry because for these three months i asked myself am i a root what am i that i will be away and nobody will check up on me but anyway i like talking so so guys, let me reintroduce myself because of this vacation, this life happening vacation. I am Erika Numbere. I am a Christian, a lawyer, a bespoke tailor. I'm a mother of two. I'm married. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe to this channel. Turn on your post notification bell because like I said, I've been away for four months and sometimes because of life, I don't post as regularly as I should. So your notification bell needs to be turned on so that you get notified immediately a video comes up, posted, uploaded, whatever the word is. So guys, life happened to me. Yeah, I got encumbered. I got off track or I got on track. With a couple of things that made me get off track on this space but i believe i'm back yeah i'm back Whew. this feels new to me i'm shy i don't want it to be a long video but i'm going to address everything that i plan to address in this video so today i'll be talking about a couple of things and dealing with the issue of being jobless <laughs> is one of it and listening to my reintroduction and hearing that i'm a lawyer i'm a tailor how dare me how dare me how dare i how dare what how dare how can i say that i am jobless right <laughs> you're going to get there so first off i enrolled for an upgrade in my fashion learning or in my fashion life in the fashion aspect of my life i am enrolled for a four months course and um, it's been going on well it's been really stressful like taking up my time because i have to be in school on particular days these particular days to do my assignments then submit and still have to be a mom and a wife so it's been really 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 tedious on me like i did not think when the tutor was telling us oh my goodness plan your life because everything's gonna change be prepared for breakouts baby i did not think it was that serious until i started and believe you me it was as serious as the course was so um it's been a good experience like i love i love sewing so it's been a very amazing experience for me i've learned a lot of things like i'm happy some things some styles that i see online and i'm like can i do this can i do this and i'm breaking my head for how to illustrate that style and explain that style for myself now i see that it's easy i just be like okay this is what they did here, this is what they did here, and I'm good to go. So, generally, it's been an, an amazing experience. And now, into the other aspect of this video, which is dealing with being jobless, dealing with joblessness, how you behave, react while waiting for that miracle, while waiting for that promotion, while waiting for that job, like waiting for that company that you applied to that system that you applied to to call you back why you wait for that what happens what happens in that period um please i am um, um, please i'm hoping that this video is going to be as interactive as possible and how do i mean interactive please put your comments in the comment section as you watch this video and as it relates to you because i don't want to believe that i'm the only one that has experienced what I'm about to talk about. So I finished my bachelor's degree in 2015. I got called to the bar in 2017. Um, and since then, I've been looking for jobs, sort of. 
and how do I mean I've been looking for a job? 2017 till like 2019, I was unemployed because I gained employment in 2019. Um, 2019 July, that's when I got my first employment after school. Then I lost that job 2020 December. Then, what else? And I've been unemployed ever since then and someone would be like if you're having a good life you you you're you having everything provided for you why, why bother about being employed or not so guys i'm going to come in and state this at this point um i never really thought that i would be someone who is dependent on her spouse like i get the whole housewife enjoying and all that this is nigeria not everybody not all fingers are equal so I did not really think that I will totally depend on my husband but after losing my job because at the point when I got married I was working so after losing my job it became expedient <laughs> it did not become expedient but it just told me that okay life as I used to know is no longer life I have to bring down myself and ask for help financial help whenever i need financial help and there's nothing like um earning your money i know in marriage one plus one equals one your funds your resources blah blah, blah comes together and is one and at this point i'm not talking about joint accounts i'm just talking about the uniformity um the unity of your funds I know that is what is preached and that is what is supposed to be practiced. But there's nothing like you working for your money. Whether or not you're adding it up to whatever your husband has, there is nothing like you earning for yourself, being able to provide for yourself. Little, little things. See, somehow when you need the tiniest thing and you're waiting for month end or you're waiting for hobby to come back before you can get that thing. So for a while I struggled with the depression of that fact the depression of not being able to do things the way i want to do things as per you know that if you're earning a particular amount of money at the end of the month you're able to plan that particular money or you're able to plan for that money you're able to hold off on stuff because you know that okay at the end of so so, so time i'll be able to afford this thing but when that is not the case when you don't have a stable means of income my dear <laughs> you will not be able to plan with cash at all at all at all i plan on somebody's pocket like you will not be able to plan with cash and if that has been your life please put it up in the comment section i discovered while trying to prepare for this video that i have been jobless for like five years <laughs> and if yours have been more than that please put it up also in the comment section how long have you been searching for a job and you've not had one put it up in the comment section okay and let us see our community <laughs> so how do you deal most of the challenges that you face or the issues that you face while fighting joblessness aside yourself is people or are people you don't if you, you you you're bold in yourself like you're confident in yourself and you have moved past your self depression the rest of the issues you're going to have are the people around you some may accept that you're jobless some may not accept that you're jobless and i will dive into that in a bit so if you want to deal like if you're trying to deal with being without a job being without a stable means of income you have to first deal with yourself especially when you know that you're good especially when you know that you have good credentials especially when you know that um there's nothing wrong with your brain even where your credentials won't state first class second class upper right and for some jobs second class lower even where your credentials don't state the bourgeoisie <laughs> even when your 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 credentials don't state the highs like you're not among the high points um 
people that are employed, right? Even when it is not that, you know that you can learn on the job, you know that you're a team player, you know that you're good with anything that you put your mind and your hands to do. My dear, you have to come out of asking yourself questions because when you don't have work or you don't have things going your way, you tend to hate yourself. You tend to move into the hole of depression. You tend to get angry with yourself, almost like you are the one to make things happen for yourself. And being a believer of God, I know that all things work together for my good. So you should believe that all things also work together for your good. Whether or not it's working at the moment, so far as you're putting in the work, it's working together for your good. So you have to walk out of yourself. You have to believe in yourself, believe in the God that you serve. Like, there's nothing that beats your self-confidence because when people start talking right, <laughs> they will think you're crazy because you have worked on yourself. I've been someone that have almost all my life, I've been working on my self-confidence, my self-esteem, who I am and stuff like that. So it takes a lot, I know, it takes a lot to bring yourself out of that situation and look forward to what you can get. Now, if you're dealing with this issue of not having a stable means of income, I feel why preparing or why waiting for that job, why waiting for that miracle, why waiting for that promotion, you upgrade yourself. Even if it's not in the field that you're currently working on, just don't allow your mind to be dormant. Upgrade yourself. Free skills are online. Just upgrade yourself generally. We should learn to learn from everything around us because no message, no lesson, no anything, no teaching is a wasted one. You have to innovate. You have to put yourself out there. Don't stop putting yourself out there. Like while preparing for this video, something came to my mind, and that that is or that that was that that door that you have been knocking on for so long. Don't be afraid. Don't stop knocking. That door is going to be open for you if that is the door that your help is coming out from. Why am I saying this? The person that you're knocking for maybe in the room and the easiest and the closest place from the gate is in the parlor. So keep knocking. That person will surely come out of the room. So far as it's not midnight. <laughs> but shall just keep knocking on that door if you are sure that that door is the door that your help is coming out from. So the first way to deal with that issue is to work on yourself. Work on yourself. There is nothing wrong with you. You are good at what you do. Work on your mind because out of your heart are born the issues of life. So feed yourself with things that edify yourself, that edify you. Don't feed yourself with things that don't edify. And when I mean things that don't edify, things that are not within the sphere of what God has for you. God created everybody, whether or not you're a Christian at this point. God created everyone and he looked at everyone and saw that everyone was good at that point of creation. So, if you're not born again, please give your life to Christ. But if you're born again and you're dealing with this issue, my dear, look up to God, the author and the finisher of your faith. Even when things are not actualizing themselves, my dear, it's going to actualize so far as you are within God's will. I don't know if I am understood at this point. So what is the next thing to do? No, I also I also mentioned why you work on yourself, upgrade yourself, learn a skill, learn a trade, do something, don't be idle. <laughs> that moment, that moment when you close your eye and say, let me rest, my dear. No, 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 don't be idle. Because an idle man is a devil's workshop. Not my words, but don't be idle. Because it can, it makes you to wallow in your self pity, it makes you to wallow in depression. And that is not what you need to move past that phase. That's what you need to deal with the issue at hand. Next up is dealing with people. You might have worked on yourself, right? And people are not understanding that you worked on yourself. Now, I'm going to use this as an example. Ha, ah, my mom is going to watch this video, but I'm still going to use it as an example. If you listen to 
my the years I've been jobless, like when I was narrating, you discover that when I finished university in 2015 and was called to the bar in 2017, what happened between 2016, 2015 and 2016, or 2016 and 2017? I failed a course, corporate law, and um, it required that I write that, it was required that I write that course before I can be called to the bar. Now, the day that I was expecting the result, in fact, the day all of us, all of us that wrote the exams, were expecting the result for the first exam. We were all asked to wait till, I think, that day, it was a Saturday midnight, or it was a Friday midnight, there about, I can't remember the day, but it was something that was supposed to happen in the night. So, people were checking for results and stuff like that, and I checked and discovered that <laughs> I failed as per there was no date for me to be called to the bar because everyone that passed had the dates when they'll be called to the bar. Now I was on the bed, I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried my eyes out. Like I cried. <laughs> I cried. Oh my goodness, I cried. And the cause that caused this wasn't a shock to me because no matter how much I read corporate law, I don't know. It just seemed to be a lot of things. To put down into my head so i cried i cried that oh my goodness i failed i cried that i had failed my parents i cried that how how am i going to tell my parents that i did not pass corporate law and because of that why other parents are following their children to the arena i'm not going to follow and stuff like that but i cried and cried and cried and encouraged myself in the lord cleaned my eyes how to tell my parents so in the morning when it was morning morning, I went and I told my parents that, okay, see you, I failed this course, and because of that, I will not be called to the bar. My father, who wanted to go out on that particular day, I think going out because it was like he was the one that failed. So I was sad, I went back into the room. I sat down there for a bit, my parents were in the room for a very long time. I don't know what was going on, but they were in the room for a very long time, but <laughs> after a while, I'm a cheerful being. I don't like being down for a, a, a very long time because it plays on my mind a lot. So after a while, I please I know that this story is becoming long, but stay with me. After a while, I came back into the room. I think I came to serve my my parents their food. It's it it was almost as if I was my bubbling self again, and <laughs> and my parents felt they needed to come into action. What do you mean you failed? You failed your call to bear exams and you are here bringing food, smiling. You should not be smiling. You should be angry. You should be sad. You should lock yourself in your room. You should rent your clothes and put on sad clothes. <laughs> but that moment, my parents were not happy with me and they felt the need to tell me that I need to brace up. Like, why will I? It's as if I'm taking the failure lightly. And why did I bring this up? People may not understand when you have moved past your pain. And they start talking to you like you're still in your pain. Some of it may be out of concern, like my parents. They did not want a child that did not understand that, okay, you have failed, right? There are certain things that you should do while you have failed. Like I said, if you've sinned against God in time past, you rent your clothes. And you put on sackcloth, right? Praying for forgiveness. At this point, it seemed I had wasted money. I had wasted the money because it will need, require another cash for me to go rewrite my exam. It will require me to travel, not to go and be caught the power. It will require me for me to travel and go to Abuja. Resources that I would have used to be called to the bar because that one you are traveling. I'm using it to go and write exams. I don't know if you get. Some people, even where it's out of concern, may not get that you've moved past your pain. And because of that, they'll start saying things. So other people, they're just saying it because they feel they are at a good place. See you without joy. And you're, you're not perturbed. You're walking around as if you have the whole world in your hand. My dear, you have got a God who got the whole world in his hands. So walk like that, man. Forget about them. But, like I'm saying, some people may not know that you're going past your pain. And because of that, they talk to you like you should be in your sacraments. Meanwhile, 
you've moved past circles you have rent out that circle because all is now well with you yes all is well with you whether or not you have seen the manifestation of that that i have just said all is well with you and that job is going to call you that job yeah they're going to call you so don't don't wallow in that don't allow people to make you wallow to make you remain where you've moved past yes at this point i'm going to say avoid situations that will make you wallow in pain it does not pay to be depressed i think i'm going to talk about depression in another video but it does not pay to be depressed depression does a lot to you so it does not pay to be depressed so how are you going to deal with people avoid situations that will put you in pain where it is a loved one and you can't avoid that just change find a way to work on that thing that i've said work on it for your good right like if somebody's telling you see you you're not good enough you don't know that this is what you're supposed to do and then yeah, turn it let it be that your ears your mind is recycling all that you've heard and making it positive as far positive for your thoughts because when somebody keeps talking to you as if you don't know what to do right you may tend to be sad meanwhile you actually know what to do i know people that talk to you about upgrade in your like in your area of specialization as if upgrade is free upgrade is money upgrade will cost you my sisters will always tell me that all those skills that you learn online that are free will not take anywhere it will not boost your cv so for you to get that which will boost, boost your cv is money so when somebody's talking to you like ah god do this god do this talk is cheap talk is cheap talk is very very cheap so now why upgrading yourself in your free in the free skills because no knowledge ah that's the word i was looking for in the first place no knowledge is lost upgrade yourself save up little by little to a cow ping 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 because when your pay is not that big and you have a family before you even think of savings <laughs> your wants have or your needs have finished the money there are some people whose salary finished before it lands in the account so it may be living you know when you are owing somebody you may be living almost immediately so don't beat yourself up don't beat yourself up there is hope there is light at the end of that tunnel and you can deal you can deal my dear so far as you're not down below you're not in the grave there is hope for you so generally to summarize all that i have said one work on yourself give yourself affirmations i am great at what i do the works of my hands are blessed my mind is not redundant i am going to move past this meanwhile how to also sharpen your mind learn to read i'm trying to start reading learn to read like read don't stop reading shall try reading so like i said work on yourself upgrade yourself upgrade yourself the best way that you can leave situations that are going to turn you into what you're not yeah avoid people that are going to make you wallow there are some people that when they talk to you they're talking to you with motivation and you leave that place feeling oh my god feeling encouraged feeling motivated motivated those are the people that you should be around don't be around people that will bring down your self-esteem okay then read exercise exercise use that jobless time <laughs> now it's funny use that jobless time to exercise exercise your ass out yes it's going to help you your mind your body is going to help you your body is going to secrete hormones that will make you generally happy i know one time i was walking out with one of my sisters my friend and she said hmm, person goes finish exercising now go back they go think <laughs> they go think about their life and stuff like that yeah she's right but if you exercise regularly if you're up on your feet regularly it's hard 
that you spend time to wallow. Like, there are some times that you will not know why you're happy, but you're just happy. You will not know why you're not. Like, it will take a lot. Like, it will almost be like work to enter into depression, to enter into thinking. Yeah? Try it and give me feedback. And if you have been doing that, put it down in the, school, in the comment section. I hope that with these few points of mine, I've been able to share a little bit of what I have experienced while in the job market and stuff like that. Filling the space with God's word of improving yourself, reading a lot, working out, and positivity, positive vibes. And I believe that God is going to come through for each and every one of us. Yes, I say each and every one of us because I'm still looking for a job. So God is going to come through for each and every one of us. If you have been here till this time and you have not yet clicked on that subscribe button, my dear, click on that subscribe button. Turn on your post notification bell because this place has come to stay. <laughs> I'll be done with Father School. I'm glad. <laughs> Bye.